isotopes are atoms with different numbers of neutrons. So they are atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so for example here, in the periodic table, we're used to seeing carbon-12. So we know the mass of that carbon is 12 because of the number of protons and neutrons. It has six protons and six neutrons in its nucleus. However, there do exist different forms of that carbon. So atoms of the same element, but with different neutrons. And you can tell that by the mass. So here we've got carbon-13, and here we've got carbon-14. And if you look at what, what's different about them is the number of neutrons. So this one's got an extra neutron and this one has got an extra two neutrons. And with these, with these isotopes, what tends to happen is they tend to be, some of them anyway, are radioactive. And that means they decay and break down. And when they do that, they release radiation and we'll look at the different types in a minute so these isotopes here are often what we call unstable which means they'll decay and break down and when they do that they'll release radiation so some of the carbon that exists in, in the world is carbon 14 and some is carbon 13 but randomly it's completely at random this carbon nucleus might decide just to decay but the whole process is absolutely random that's why we get this average if we look at the mass. Because even though we think about it as 12 and most of our periodic tables are rounded up, actually this here indicates that the masses are a little bit different and this mass number is an average of those that are found. But 98%, nearly 99% is carbon-12, hence why this is pretty much 12 here. So when these radioactive nuclei decay, they can release radiation. And background radiation is all around the UK generally. Natural radiation can be found in rocks. So some of these nuclei, for example, that in rocks, would decay and release radiation. Because there are unstable nuclei in, in, in the rocks around the UK. Not only that, there's something called radon gas in several parts of the UK, and this map shows the areas where there's lots of radon gas, for example, down in Cornwall here. And radioactive isotopes of radon can also decay and break down and release natural background radiation. Furthermore, we can also have man-made or artificial radiation, for example, from nuclear disasters or weapons so nuclear weapons or nuclear disasters like the chernobyl disaster where um we have a, um, had that massive disaster with a nuclear power plant also things like x-rays and medical uses um, which can release radiation if you have lots of x-rays or if your nurse was working with lots of x-rays all the time you got to be particularly careful but actually, they, they probably won't give you this as an example as an, an exam, but they might give you this in relation to a question, because it's been in the news quite a lot recently, and that's that actually cigarettes are massive um, contributors to artificial radiation, because they've got radioactive isotopes inside the cigarette, which can then um, emit radiation when those decay.